Also at this hour, Donald Trump has arrived in New York City to face charges stemming from a probe into harsh money paid to a porn star. The former U.S. president is due to surrender at the Manhattan District Attorney's Office and lawyers have argued against letting cameras into the courtroom. Reports say Trump will be fingerprinted prior to appearing before a judge for an arraignment where his lawyers say he will plead not guilty. The 76-year-old Republican is seeking to regain the presidency in 2024 and is the first former U.S. president to face criminal charges. Trump's plane arrived at the LaGuardia Airport in New York. He walked alone down a flight of stairs from the plane and climbed into an SUV for a drive in a motorcade. He got out of the vehicle, waved to the people behind barricades set up by police for security purposes and walked into Manhattan's Trump Tower. A court official said the arraignment was planned for 1,815 GMT on Tuesday. Here's our correspondent Susan Tehrani reporting from outside Trump Tower in Manhattan. Security has been beefed up here in and around Trump Tower, but also all across Manhattan and the tri-state area as former U.S. President Donald Trump left Florida. He's already arrived here in Manhattan, expected to spend the night at Trump Tower and then head on downtown to that Manhattan courthouse on a Tuesday morning, a few hours before his scheduled arraignment at 2.15 in the afternoon. He's expected to arrive downtown at around 11 a.m. local time, despite no credible threats of violence. New York Mayor Eric Adams has called for peace. Meanwhile, here by Trump Tower, international and national media has descended, and a group of Donald Trump protesters and counter protesters have also gathered. The grand jury that indicted Trump had evidence for months about a $130,000 payment to adult film actress Stormy Daniels. Daniels has said that she was paid to keep silent about a sexual encounter she had with Trump at a hotel in 2006. The former U.S. president denies having had any such relationship with Daniels. Over the weekend, New York police began erecting barricades near Trump Tower and the Manhattan Criminal Court building. Mayor Eric Adams, a Democrat, said there was no known specific security threat. The mayor called on protesters to be on their best behavior and said New York City is not a playground for misplaced anger. Uh, while there may be some rabble rousers thinking about coming to our city tomorrow, our message is clear and simple. Control yourselves. New York City is our home, not a playground for your misplaced anger. It is a hearing that is being closely watched across the United States. President Joe Biden has said he is not worried about the possibility of unrest around Trump's arraignment. Here's what he said. No, I have faith in the New York Police Department. Yes. So, the specific charges in the indictment by a grand jury convened by District Attorney Bragg, a Democrat, have yet to be disclosed. Trump has said he is innocent. He and his allies have portrayed the charges as politically motivated. Before leaving Florida, Trump took to social media and cited a witch hunt. He said the United States has gone to hell. After the arraignment, Manhattan District Attorney Bragg will hold a press conference. Trump will return to Florida and deliver remarks from Mar-a-Lago. The New York case is one of several investigations that Trump faces. Trump advisor Jason Miller stated the former president's campaign raised $7 million in the three days after the word of the indictment emerged last Thursday. On Monday, the campaign issued the latest in a series of fundraising emails taking aim at the media's reporting on his indictment. We on Susan Tehrani has more from New York. As former President Donald Trump gets ready to face a judge at a Manhattan courtroom on Tuesday, according to Trump insiders, the Trump 2024 campaign has turned the former president's indictment into a quote-unquote cash grab, raising more than $7 million in campaign contributions so far. This in only the last three days that the indictment 
was announced. But the question now remains whether or not the judge presiding over the case will issue a gag order on the former president, something that concerns many regarding its First Amendment violations, considering the fact that Donald Trump is a candidate for the 2024 presidential election. Regarding that First Amendment issue, Trump lawyers have said if the judge does decide to go ahead and issue a gag order, they will fight it to the end. Susan Tehrani reporting from New York for We On World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.